Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a bonus cash stuffing for you. So basically what it is, is that um, I live in California and they had like a California stimulus and I was not expecting it at all. I actually had to like Google. I was okay. So I looked at my bank account and I saw that we got money in there and I was like, um, what is this? Is this a trick? So then I had to Google it and apparently there was a California stimulus that went out and we did end up receiving it. So me and my husband split that. And then um, I'm keeping a majority into my checking buffer, but I did end up pulling out $100 to stuff to kind of replenish my cash envelopes. If you saw my last video where I did um, my weekly check-in, you saw that I did end up spending quite a bit of money. So I decided to take out 100 and kind of distribute it through my cash envelopes. So I'm just going to warn you guys right now, I don't know if this is going to be a hot mess or not. But I did not write, um, you should do like a cheat sheet of how much I'm putting in every category. I'm kind of just going through and putting whatever my little heart desires. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it and see how it ends up going. So we are going to start off with our spending envelope first, or our spending binder first, excuse me. And right off the bat, I have my cash envelopes, which are basically empty minus the funsies one. So I am going to go ahead and put some money in these ones. So the first one is mine. And I am going to put $10 into mine. This is just to last me until my next cash stuffing. Like I said, this is a little bonus one. And I completely spent money on myself. And I ended up taking some of my money and using it on Gaby. So I decided to treat myself. And then let's see, this is the eating out. And I will put $10 in there as well. I'm curious to see how this goes. <laughs> I'm like kind of nervous because I always have it like already prepared so that I don't get all crazy in the video. Okay, so there you go. So Funsies has 10 left, mine has 10, and then Eating Out has 10. So I kind of just made them all even for that. We basically have the groceries that we need for the month and I do have money left in here. Let me see how much I have in here. I have 20, 21, 23, oh, so 23. You know what, I am going to put um, $10 into groceries as well, just to kind of beef that up. Like I said, I will be cash stuffing again soon. This is just like a little bonus, but 23 is not a lot. I don't, like I said, I don't think we'll need it because we already have like enough food, but just in case, uh, couponing, I am not going to put anything in. There's plenty in there, but I will go ahead and count it for you guys. Couponing has 20, 30, 40. So $40 in our couponing category. And this is just the upfront cost for couponing deals if I ever see them. And I like think they're really good, like on toilet paper or paper towels, just like stuff that we know that we need. That is what this category is for. So let's see. This is just my rollover buffer that I have. How much is in here? Oh my God, look at that one. It's so crusty. <laughs> That is so terrible. Okay, anyways, there's $6 in my rollover. And I am actually like, usually I don't stuff this. I just use whatever's left over at the end of the week for this. But I do want a bit of a buffer because I have been using this like crazy. So that is now going to have $11 in there. Oh, okay, so Gaby Spending has nothing in there. I am gonna just give him the 20 then. Um, that way he has some money because I didn't really use a lot of this on anything fun for him. We basically just bought him like some diapers and some milk and stuff like that. So I'm just going to beef that back up for him and give him 20. Utilities, I think I will be putting 10 towards. So we now have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So $65 in utilities, which is good because I think actually that is my portion for the month. Um... Our bill was really low this time. We ended up signing up for a program to get a discount. So we got like a, I think it's 20% discount. I could be wrong on that, but it's somewhere around there. So our bill was lower and we were like trying really hard to not use the AC or anything this month. So it was pretty low. So I think 65 is um, good for my portion of the bill this month. So my buffer has been getting depleted like crazy. There's $3 left in there. Um, again, I don't stuff this. I just use rollover. So basically, the my, my envelope is for my rollover, and then all the other ones are going to be for buffer. Right now, there's three. Again, I'm going to do the same thing out of five, so now there's going to be eight in there because I have been using this a lot, more than I would like. I'm hoping that my spending will be cutting back 
I think I have everything that I need, but things always come up, so I'm not going to say I do or don't. Okay, so that is it for our spending. We're going to go into our blue binder, which is our sinking funds. And then here, we are going to see how much do we have in gifts. My anniversary is coming up. We're not doing anything big, though, so I don't need too much in here. 121, so 121. I think what I'm going to do is add $5 to this. So it has 125, 26, 126. I feel like I counted that weird. <laughs> but 126 in gifts. Moving on to Gaby's savings. I will be giving him $5. So he now has 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 350, 355, 360. So 360. That is so exciting. I'm so excited. I hope we get our child tax credit this month so that I can really beef this up. It's so weird. So we didn't get it for July, but we got it for August. So I'm just hoping like September comes through. <laughs> but I have no idea if we're going to get that or not. Christmas, I did end up spending out of here. So that is going to be getting $10. That's going to be our last 10. So we now have 100, 150, 170, 180. 100, 150, 170, yeah. $180 in Christmas. Um, we were in like the 200s, but I spent like 70 out of here. And honestly, I'm getting closer to like basically being done with buying gifts. I just have to get my husband some stuff. Um, Gaby, like one or two more things and then my, um, immediate family, a few things. So that actually sounded like a lot when I went through that. <laughs> it might be, but that's okay. We're going to just keep adding to this. Again, this was just a bonus one, so I didn't put too, too much. But our next cash envelope stuffing, we'll be getting a decent amount in this one. So baby number two, let's see, what do I want to do? So how many? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So six categories left. So baby number two, I think I will be putting $3 in. So they have 120, 30, one, two, three. So 133 in baby number two. Let's see. Retirement, I am just going to skip um, this time. Home furnishings. Do I want to add anything? No. I'm just going to skip that this time. I'm going to skip vacation and car. And I think I'm just going to add the rest into Invisalign. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven dollars will be going into the Invisalign category. So I now have 50, 70, 90, 100, 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 107 dollars. Whoo! Exciting. And that is it, you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to replenish um, my cash envelopes with that little extra money that I had. And also kind of just um, add to a couple of my sinking funds. This time, like you saw, I did put $7 in my Invisalign. I decided to actually take some of the extra money that I got and put it towards myself for once um, rather than everyone else. So that is all I have for you guys today. It was short and sweet, but it was really nice to get that extra money. We definitely needed it this month, so I'm very happy about that. So thank you guys for joining me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.